Can we just sit back and appreciate this model and animation for a few seconds? Someone has spent so much time on that. But this is a new Mastercraft bundle in Warzone called the Necro King. And in it, there is a skin for the Krieg called the Ice Drake. And it's got the ice dismemberment effect as well. Now, at the time of recording this video, they released this yesterday. I bought it, went to equip it, and it was kind of messed up. The barrel looks all wrong and everything. But I realized that if you equip the takedown barrel, it actually fixes it. So I think the default blueprint has got the wrong attachments on it. So in the meantime, they've actually removed this from the store. So I don't know how many people in the world actually have this right now, but I bought it before it was taken away. And it's what we'll be using in today's solo match. This was a really fun match though. And the ending has an interesting situation to try and break down exactly what happened. So I think you guys will like this. As always, a massive thank you to all these guys who've used my code in the COD store. If you buy this bundle or any others, using my code Jackfrags and Caps, tweet me a pic and I'll put you in a video like this one. Also, before we start, an old friend of mine hit me up a couple days ago and suggested we do something for Warzone loadouts where you guys pick what loadout you want me to use. We've done this a few times many years ago with Battlefield, but I've never really done it for Warzone. So if you've got any interesting weapon loadouts or guns that you'd like me to try, let me know down in the comments below and upvote the ones that you think could be quite entertaining. I'll take a look and maybe we'll pick one or two for some gameplay. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Let's get into it. Right then. Now I played this game pretty late last night, about 1am. So I didn't do any live commentary at the time. So I thought that I'd just riff over the top. Do some play-by-play, play. it's kind of explain what's going on. Dropped at silos because there was a scav here. Unfortunately, two other people here dropped two. That was the guy that picked up the scav, but I just felt really confident with that fight because the Uzi is actually pretty good at medium range. So took the challenge, managed to win. Heard one singular footstep there, which prepared me for that fight. And I almost lost it. Almost. <laughs> it was a close one. There is another scab that I pinged further on. I just decided to leave it, see if I could accrue some money. Found a heartbeat sensor, pinged a random dude, and I thought, you know what, they've got to be in the garage or something. Pop the dead silence, come around the corner. This dude actually nearly kills me. That's a good player. You can tell by the movement, how quickly they crouched and then went prone. Like drop shotting is not really something that I do because I just feel most of the time it's detrimental, but in circumstances like that, it can actually pay off. But unfortunately for that guy, I had an FFAR and they had an XM4. <laughs> so I got my loadout. Thought I'd check out that animation again. Just wants to fly away from you, man. Just trying to get out of there. So cool. Carried on moving around the hangars here. There's a jeep coming behind me. Random dude out of nowhere here in a ghillie suit. I did get the down, but the guy in the jeep behind me jumped out and there was another jeep. So I quickly disengaged from that fight. These two are going to have a scrap. I'll pick up the pieces, dead easy. The guy that I downed has self rest. <laughs> and now... Oh god, this was so annoying. We've got a bit of cat and mouse on our hands here. Two people. Don't know where that second guy was, actually. Not sure. Just armor back up. Keep fetching intel. They run in, have a little fight. He takes out the one guy in the hangar, and I thought I'd chase, because I'm assuming he's going to be low HP. And he dips in between the hangars there. And I can hear him running around. Still got him on beat. And I'm just not feeling this one. I wanted to fall back. Take this green and white build and get the high ground. Usually a good position in solos, this. Get some overwatch here. See if I can spot this guy. And I just see him there running through the windows. No clear shot though, so I'm not going to open up yet. See if they come up the stairs. He jumps out. Head glitches the wall. Almost takes me out there, I think. That bullet was very close to hitting me in the face, which would have downed me, I think. But, you know, I can tell this guy's not a bad player, so I'm just approaching this cautiously. Oh, man, the time.
timing there. I'm just getting sick of it now, so I'm gonna push in. Screw it. What will be will be, Kesaro. Get the crack. Got the advantage now. Now I can push. There it is. MP5 coming in clutch there at the end. Get the finish. Put oh, another UAV. Spotted someone right in front of me here. And I assumed that they would have gone for that loot. I'm thinking it might be someone that's just been killed and come back from the gulag. Through the window. Not facing me. Maybe that's someone playing on the TV, you know, just not caring. No headset. Didn't see me or hear me coming at all. More UAVs. Starting to build up a bit of cash now, so... Just trying to push the advantage. Try and make it an interesting video for you guys to watch. And I went for this fight because it's two people. Having a scrap, there's a truck. I know there's a high chance that if I just roll up there in a jeep, they probably won't be paying attention to them anymore. But this guy was. And I just did the old jump out right before you get to him. Although to be fair, they didn't do a bad job of tracking me when I jumped out of the car. Sometimes you'll find that people just end up shooting the car because it's still moving and you're actually out on the ground at that point, beaming them. But that player was wise to that. Unfortunately, this build of the Krig or the Krieg has so much movement speed that just able to outshoot them, dance around a bit on that hill. Picked up a bounty. It's always good for getting intel. Even if someone's got a ghost, you get that bounty, you'll see where they are on the map. This guy rocks up in a jeep. I think they're just coming to the buy. They've jumped out there, hit the thermite on the car. I'm trying to jump over. I get the armor break though with the thermite. MP5 for the down. Quick reload. No cell present for you. But the car explodes and nearly kills me. <laughs> that could have gone really badly. If the timing was a bit different there, that car exploded and killed me before I'd finished him, he would have self rest and finished me. So I've got to be more wary of burning cars that are about to explode next time. It's not like the single player of Call of Duty hasn't taught me that about 5,000 times over the last 20 years. I'm getting towards the end game now. I know it's only Circle 3, but the lobby just died really quick. Happens most of the time in solos nowadays. There's a little fight over here and I wanted to come and get the recon. So I'm trying to find out where the circle's going to end up. See if I can make the most of my positioning. So I want to try and win the game, of course. But the shooting stops, so there's probably only one guy here. Caught unawares behind the skip. You've always got to try and pick your fights in solos. If someone's just had a fight and you can get there in time, they probably won't be prepared for you, especially if you haven't given them advance warning that you're on the way by firing a shot or getting in a fight or whatever. So I did get a different recon flag. I feel like I've got time to get this. Random dude jumps out of hangar. Wrong place, wrong time. Just didn't see me. Didn't look left. Look both ways when you cross the street. Right, they teach you that when you're kids. I think it applies to Warzone as well. If you're on your own, playing solos, keep your head in a swivel. And you'll hopefully avoid situations like that. So looking at the recon, the zone has moved far northwest. And I do not like that area at all. So, I pushed up, got another recon just to get a, a little more information. And yeah, it's going really, really far northwest up to the police station there. So, ping the car. That's my play. And here, I got someone 7.4 meters in front of me. They've got to be in that little bit that goes up to the plane. Right above me. I'm just being sneaky beaky, you know, I don't want to make any footstep noises. And they've started to move away into the plane, so I know that's my opportunity. I can go up these noisy stairs, because <laughs> they do make a hell of a noise. And this guy, I don't think they know that I'm here. I've got ghosts. If they've got a heartbeat, they can't see me. So I'm taking the advantage. Pushing in. Get rid of another player. Now, anyone that's on my side of the circle when I'm trying to make this move for the car is a problem for me. So I get downstairs to the car. Someone's put a proximity mine in front of it. So, I'm screwed, right? Like, I can't go this way because the gas is pushing in. I'm not going to have time to get out and get back in without dying from the gas. So I thought, you know what? I'll, I'll shoot the proximity mine. Maybe it won't destroy the vehicle. Of course it does. <laughs> and I've got to run now. I'm up against it. Just being really cautious because someone could be camping that if they put the AT mine there. 
And I come out here, I hear someone on the left, and I think, you know, my best play here, getting the gas. And what I did there, when you're in the gas, visibility is really bad if you're looking in the circle. So as I started shooting, I pressed Alt on my keyboard to ping that player. So that's going to give me that nice red diamond above their heads. And here I hear someone on my right down below. I'm going to wait for him. I've got time. We're going to do the same thing. Ping, shoot. So I can track them nice and easy. If I didn't have that red marker there, I wouldn't be able to see what I was aiming at, basically. So that's a really good tip for you. Also, someone else behind that guy shot at me then. That's why I'm using this truck as cover. Let's play it back up. Do a little jump here. See if I can spot anyone, no one there. And I just wanted to check the front of this truck for a C4 proximity mine, because it's that kind of lobby. There wasn't anyone there. And we jumped in. Pretty strong to have a truck end game like this. And I did notice that there was a player in the barn. Didn't want to challenge that. Head into the zone. There's bound to be someone in police station already. But I wanted to check the high ground. Could have been someone in the shack there. Nope. And there's a dude here who gets stuck. <laughs> it's just one of those annoying dice please situations where you just can't jump over something. I wanted to take this building. Just checking it. No one's peeked yet, so I think it's clear. Get out. And I heard one All footstep, right. so I was like, nope, I'm going back in. Notice the enemy truck on the minimap as well. So I popped my truck out the back. It gets destroyed. And I managed to make my way into the ground floor of police and clear it. I've got three people left. One is above me. I've got a guy in the building that I checked out with the truck. And I've got a guy in the truck on top of the hill. So I'm just chilling, biding my time. The zone bounces towards the south. Guy in the truck gets over there early. Got gas in. They're just waiting there. I can hear the guy above me start shooting. I know that I've just got to try and put damage on this guy in the truck. Try and kill them because it's yeah, it's that kind of solo player. They will just stay in that truck as long as they possibly can. So I'm just beaming it. I know that because I don't have a suppressed weapon, I'm going to be on the minimap. Guy above me smashes the window. I've got to watch my back. No gas mask. It's a bad situation to be in. Downs me, but then gets killed by the guy in the truck. The other guy who was in that previous building is dead now too. I self-res. I know where the last guy is, and I get cover. I'm hiding here thinking, okay, I'm just going to wait, see if they run past. I'm in cover. They're not going to see me. Reload. Check the heartbeat. And then I just start getting beamed. And I was like... How? Like, how did that guy see me? On my screen, I'm completely behind cover. Couldn't see any of his model at all. But on his screen, he can see my head and my shoulder and just gets the easiest kill ever to win the match. <laughs> but there it is. I've learned something. Just because you think you're in cover, sometimes the game doesn't work like that and people can see you when you can't see them. It is what it is. You live and you learn. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. I haven't used the Krieg in ages. It's not a bad gun. It's okay for solos. I don't know if I'd take it in trios or quads, though. I think there's so many better options, but pretty fun to use. That build, yeah, not the best for Warzone, of course. No suppressor, but I just couldn't resist. Like, that's such a cool skin and animation, man. I love that. And with that said, thank you for watching, guys. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike, leave a comment down below. Thank you. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.